what is going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in to another great episode of Discovering MTG. Today we've got something bomb diggity. It's a box of Iconic Masters and we're gonna have 24 packs to open up today on the channel. So that means that I'll have 24 chances to get myself a mana drain. I want a mana drain because I needs one. I was not one of those who picked one up when they tanked to around $70, $60. And I know, I know, I know I should have picked one up for one of my EDH decks, but I didn't. So instead, I decided instead of picking up just a single of a mana drain, a single card, to just pick up a whole booster box to have my luck. Because this set right here has got all sorts of other goodies like Cryptic Command and Thought Seize and all sorts of other neat stuff. So today, without further ado, let's get to cracking. We've got 24 chances, like I said, for a Mana Drain, which is one of the best counter spells out there. Originally printed in, I believe it was way back in the day from Legends, was it? No, it was, was it Legends? Correct me if I'm wrong. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, so we'll do it like such. We'll start on this side right here. Getting the Kraken. To be honest, when this set first came out back in, I believe, what, 2018? I didn't, I didn't buy any of this because back then, man, no one was feeling it. People were so upset. Nothing in the set. They felt like it was iconic. And they, they just felt like, oh, just because they threw a mana drain in there. Um, you know, they were just trying to trying to get people to buy it. Well, here here's our first uncommon. We got a hunting pack. Ooh, nice. A sanguine bond. That's, that's pretty good. Lovely, lovely. And large. Oh, my gosh. One of... This, the price of this is going up. Yes, it is right now. It's Archangel of Thune. Our first pack, first mythic, three colorless, two white, creature angel, three, four body with flying and lifelink. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Nice. One of the better angels out there. And uh, for our first foil, we've got a Mind Stone. Nice. Keep that open right there. Foils right there tokens back where the commons are all right second pack so they usually say with iconic masters it's either hit or miss um obviously we we hit on the first pack so hopefully we can keep that trend going but i don't want to jinx it i don't want to jinx it guys so uh they say that the rares are what you're supposed to like the good rares if you don't get good rares in iconic masters then then most likely you're gonna get a bad box but um yeah we got haunting him for our first common uncommon i mean for this pack Ooh, nice electrolyze is it oh thran dynamo that that's a that's a nice mana rock i'll take it i'll take it Ooh, and we got serum powder for our first rare three colorless it's an artifact you can tap it add um Add colorless to your mana pool anytime you can mulligan and serum powder is in your hand. You may exile all cards from your hand, then draw that many cards. Nice. And a sweet disenchant foil. So there's a foil in every pack with these master sets. Speaking of master sets, have you guys heard of the new double masters that's going to come out later in the year? It is crazy. They're going to have box toppers. Two box toppers. What I don't get is why are they going to be non-foil? So, I hate how they're continuing that trend trend of like non-foil box toppers. Like, dude, box toppers are supposed to be like the primo card in the set. You know what I mean? And if you're if it's a box topper chase card, man, like at least like like discontinue the non-foil ones at the least. Jungle barrier could you just flood the market with all these like premium promo extra alternate cards and uh you know that's that's just not cool so we got sarah angel for our first uncommon a corpse shack menace Ooh, nice well that was that was actually uh our third and second uncommon we got magus of the moon 
price of this is actually going up. It's two colors and a red. Uh, Non-basic lands are mountains. Two two body. So it's actually a blood moon on a stick. Nice. Ooh, and the swords, the plowshares, foil, and it's all bad self. That's probably like eight bucks right there. Probably more. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, guys. You guys tell me. Then we got a dragon token. All right. All right, guys. Hey, looks like my kiddo just came into the room. She wants me to pick her up. All right, just with the commons. Yeah, my little one, she's, she's always curious, uh, you know, about my cards. She's actually got her own little collection, um, trying to be like daddy. So we got our first uncommon, Viscopa Guild Mage. Coordinated Assault. And nice, Swords of Plowshares. I'm gonna tell you, man, in these packs, so far we've had some pretty good luck with the uncommon slot. And then nice, we got a Rune Scarred Demon for our rare. Five colorless and two black. It's a creature demon, 6-6 six, six body, flying. When Rune Scarred Demon enters the battlefield, search your library for a card. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Alright guys, I'm gonna set this down real quick. I'm gonna edit it. Alright, and we're back guys, sorry about that. We're gonna pick this up. Pick up the pace, just a little bit. Yeah, man, like I was talking about, uh, doubling, or not, not doubling, um, double masters. Like, what kind of dumb name is that? Like, double masters? Like, come on now. Like, you're gonna have a premium product. Like, at least give it a premium name. Double masters? Dude, sounds like so disheartening, man. It's, uh... Yeah, it's just a letdown. Like, especially if a product's $300, I could go out and buy, like, a, a game console that's, like, permanent, you know what I mean? Uh, and and endless possibilities. Or I can just buy a booster box and, and gamble my money away. So we got our Selesnia Sanctuary for our first uncommon in this pack. And a Johnny's Pride Mate. <laughs> nice. Uh, what are these, Bounce Lands? Yep, Simic Grow Chamber. I like me some Bounce Lands. And then for our rare, we got a Rampaging Ballast. Four colorless and two green. Creature Beast, Trample, 6-6. Six, six. And it's got Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a 4-4 four, four green beast creature token. Nice. And then for our foil card, we got Draconic Roar. Look at that thing roaring. See the guy right behind him? That's cool. And then a Spirit Token. Who's got spirit? Yes, we do. I've got spirit. How about you? All right, going through our commons real quick. Not sure if there's any, really any commons to note. Um, I know there's an uncommon. Um, they have a, what is that? That zero drop artifact? Selesnia Sanctuary. We got a prodigal pyromancer. A Rakdos Carnarium for a rare mythic slot. An Ameria Angel. It's a two colorless, two white, three three body with flying landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a one one white bird creature token with flying. Nice. Probably not nice with the EV, but um, Culligan Monument for a foil. Then we got a beast token. All right, I don't know. We gotta step it up, man. We gotta step it up with the value on some of these hits, bro. Because I paid a hundred and seventy-nine ninety-nine plus tax for my booster box. And I'ma tell you, if I don't hit mana drain, it's gonna be a bust. Alright, so we got surreal memoir. Aetherize. Oh, that's some cool art. Look at that chick, man. That dude was probably like, Come here, Sally! And she was like, No! Don't touch me! Freeze! Aetherize. We got a Rift Bolt. And then an Austere Command. Not too bad, not too bad. Four colorless, two white. You can choose two of these modes. Destroy all artifacts, destroy all enchantments, destroy all creatures with converted mana cost, three or less, or destroy all creatures with converted mana cost, four or greater. Man, she looks super cool. 
Is, that, is she Asian or is she Caucasian? Either way. All right, Grizzly Spectacle for our foil. Hopefully we get a, a decent um, foil rare. Okay, okay, okay. Next pack here, we got Mana Link. Highly playable, Vent Sentinel. Thought Scour. Wow, I didn't know those were in here. Super sweet. Lure. All right, so for our first uncommon, we got Lure. Wing Shards. A Mahat Madi Jijin. With downshifted from rare to uncommon. Boom, and a Simic Sky Swallower. Five colorless and Simic. Creature Leviathan, 6-6 six, six body, flying trample with shroud. Simic Sky Swallower. And then a Bewilder. Bewilder. Bewilder, Bewilder. Alright. Next pack, next pack. Let's get it. Get it, get it. If I don't get it, I'm gonna have to buy another box, so please, please give it to me. Inspiring Call, Abzan Battle Priest, an Overgrown Battlement, and for a rare mythic, ooh, the blue, the blue got me. We got Teferi Mage Z of Zalfur. Two colorless and three blue legendary creature human wizard three four body with flash creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield have flash each opponent can cast spells only any time he or she could cast a sorcery talk about control man teferi has been one of the ogs ogs and we got a ogitize breath some stank breath frees you up and the spirit token yep I don't know, have you guys opened any of this stuff? Maybe this is why there's so much at my LGS. I was looking at their stock, man. They got like cases and cases of this stuff just sitting back behind the shelf. I was like, yeah, why don't you give me one of those? The one with the mana drain in it, preferably. Hunting pack for our first uncommon. Condescend. Carbon Karyatid. Ooh, look at those girls. Is that a tree? Nice. I'd like to make me a treehouse on that carving carry it <laughs> All right, and for our rare mythic slot, we got Scourge of Valkis. Two colorless, three red, creature dragon, four four body with flying. Whenever Scourge of Valkis or another dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to a target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. Pay a red, Scourge of Valkis gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Nice. All right, and then we got an evolving wilds that's been Highly reprinted almost in every set. It is a fetch land. Yes, sir, re Bob. Alright. I know the Praetors are in here. I'm super stoked about that. Hopefully, I can get some more Mythics, please. Because I am happy for that Archangel of Thune. Okay. Oh, we got a Windfall. Windfall's in here. Nice. That's a good card. It's good on common. Heck yes, I will take it. We got a Boros Garrison. And an Illusory Angel. For a rare mythic, we got a Hypersonic Dragon. Three colorless, is it colors? Creature Dragon, 4-4 four, four, Flying Haste. You may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Nice. Benevolent Ancestor for a foil. All right, so we haven't had any good hits. I think we're about halfway through the box. I need some lady luck on my side to turn this around. I'll be honest with you. Not feeling it. Star Compass. That's cool. Nature's Claim. Alright, we got a Skywise Teachings. Ooh, right there. That's what I was talking about. That zero drop artifact. Mishra's Bobble. I think that's like 18 bucks, man. Paid for the pack. Cool. Yeah, lots of insane stuff happening with this and Luris. Well, not that insane, but you get, you know, two cards per turn, which, you know, is decent. Card draw is powerful in the magic world. We got a stagger shock. Man, electric. For a rare, we got a crucible of fire. Three colorless and a red and some enchantment. Dragon creatures you control get plus three, plus three. Well, at least, you know, um, I'm getting a bunch of stuff for my dragon's deck. I'm building a Ur Dragon EDH deck. 
bought that secret lair of the kaleidoscope killers and just been wanting to uh, build something around some of those legendary creatures that I got in there. This is super cool, you know. I was thinking about slivers, but slivers, man, is just so expensive. You got Haunting Him, Azorius Chancery, and a Noxious Dragon. All right, for a rare mythic slot, boom! Nice! Supreme Verdict. That's actually a good hit right there. One colorless and uh, two, one white and Azorius. Sorcery, Supreme Verdict, can't be countered. Destroy all creatures. Board wipe. Yes, please. A Johnny's Pride Mate. Ooh, look at that. See that coloring? It's all like, well, it's super light. All right, maybe the ink started running out. All right, so we've got one mythic, more than halfway through the box. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I've got a giveaway coming up here soon, hopefully. We got a Zorius Charm, an Abzan Falconeer, a Tavern Swindler. Yes, she be swindling something. Look at her. She got something up her sleeve, doesn't she? Oh yes, I will take it. Thought sees. Yes. It's one black. It's a sorcery. Target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card from it. That player discards that card and you lose two life. Great for, um, what do you call it? Uh, Death Shadow decks. Um, Abzan, Jund. Highly played. Let's take care of that glare. I don't like that. Man. All right. I think that'll do it. My paws are a mess, guys. They're a mess. How do you guys like my intro? I just created that today. I think I'll be slapping that on uh, each one of my videos from now on. Um, figured I'd step it up a little bit, you know, since I got so many videos uh, that, you know, at least I make it a little bit more professional. We got wing shards for our first uncommon. Prodigal Pyromancer. And another Swords to Plowshare. That's a good hit. Boom. And O-Stone. Oblivion Stone. Oh. Three colorless artifact. Four colorless. Tap it. Put a fake counter on target permanent. Five colorless. Tap it. Sacrifice O-Stone. Destroy each non-land permanent without a fake counter on it. Then remove all fake counters from all permanents. That's pretty dope. I know you can play that in uh, Commander. Highly played. Yep, it's just like threatening the board like you you do something to me, bro I'm gonna put a fake counter on it and I'm gonna pop this off So you better leave me alone. It's like holding a gun to somebody's head. Don't mess with me All right First uncommon in this pack blade wings thrall we Got a collagen monument a Demir aqueduct Oh, and we got one of the better dragon spirits Nice, we got Kokosho, the Evening Star. Four colorless and two black. Legendary creature, Kokosho. Flying when Kokosho enters. When Kokosho, the Evening Star, dies, each opponent loses five life. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. And it's five, five body. Be great for Marin decks. We got a Chronicler of Heroes. Heck yes. All right, so we've gotten some decent hits in the middle. No mythic, one mythic box, man. All right, we're starting on the right side now. One mythic box, come on. Please give it to me. We got an undercity troll. Coordinated assault. Hero's Bane for a rare mythic. Oh, nice, we got another mythic. Necropotence, three colorless, enchantment. Skip your draw step. Whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard. You can pay a life. Exile the top card of your library face down. Put that card into your hand at the beginning of your next end step. Not too bad. So we got a second mythic. We got Doorkeeper for a foil. I need another one, and it's gotta be blue. Please. Please, oh lord. All right. I guess I'll be all right if I don't get one. Whatevs, whatevs. It is what it is. All right, so Assault Formation, Palidium Mirror, Assault High Flare, and we got a Malfigure. Malfigure, 
Malfagor. Two colorless, uh, two black, two red, legendary creature, demon dragon, flying when Malfagor enters the battlefield, discard your hand, each opponent sacrifices a creature for each card discarded this way. 6-6 six, six, body. Eh. Meh. It's okay. For dragon deck. Guess. Guess. Where's my cryptic command? Where's my, uh, my freaking, um, mana drain? Coligan command, Mahamadi Jin, Dragon Loft Idol, and a Fire Main Angel. Three colorless red and two white creature angel flying first strike. Four three body. At the beginning of your upkeep, if Fire Main Angel is in your graveyard or on the battlefield, you may gain one life. Wow, that's a huge activation cost. Six colorless, uh, two red, two white. Return fire main angel from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate his ability only during your upkeep. For ten mana, geez. All right, all right. I guess that's a thing. Huh. All right, we're down to uh, like five packs, guys. Five packs. Nineteen packs. We've gone through. Pretty sure I didn't get my money back. Great teacher's decree. Roshin meandering. Look at her. She's just chilling, man. She like just came from the, the dispensary or something, and she's just like sitting at the bus stop. It's like yeah, I like want too many cookies. Elizary ambusher. <laughs> Ooh, nice. An ancestral vision. That's a decent card. It's a sorcery with uh, suspend four. You pay one blue. Um, and then target player draws three cards. Neato. I'll take it. That's a good card. Seles Selesnia Sanctuary. Oh, speaking of which, why did I put that there? Um, yeah, that the Selesnia colored land. What's that? Ooh, Horizon Canopy. That's in here. If I hit that, Horizon Canopy, Cryptic Command. Yes, I just now remembered. Can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> I see it already. Do you guys see it? Speak of the devil. We got Azorius Charm. Skywise Teachings. And Chronicler of Heroes. Yes, give it to me. Horizon Canopy. $50 land right there. Nice. Pay one life, tap it. Add Selesnia to your mana pool. Well, it's either or. It's not both. And then, uh, or you can pay one colorless and tap it. Sacrifice. Horizon Canopy. Draw a card. This was uh, the original Horizon Land, so in Modern Horizons, right? Modern Horizons had all those uh, crack lands where you crack them and draw a card. Nice. All right, three packs left, guys. All right, we hit a decent rare. We got Thoughtseize, Horizon Canopy. There's a uh, half my money, I guess. Alright, so I'm not, I can't complain. I don't know, is Archangel of Thune, what is that, 50 bucks? Azorius Chancery? Hero's Bane? We got a Bladewing the Risen? Look at that guy. Dude, that is creepy. Oh god, it was blue! Day of the Dragons, four colorless and three blue enchantment. When Day of the Dragons enters the battlefield, exile all creatures you control, then create that many 5-5 red dragon creature tokens with flying. Then when Day of the Dragons leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all dragons you control. Then return the exile cards to the battlefield under your control. That's a lot. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck? That is insane! Oh! Oh! What? Oh my gosh! I was so bummed out! We got, we're down to two packs left! Dude! What an epic hit! All caught on camera. It's Mana Drain. It's two blue. It's an instant counter target spell. At the beginning of your next main phase, add an amount of colors to your mana pool equal to that spell's converted mana cost. Yes, look at, oh my gosh, look at that foil on the clothes. Thank you so much, thank you. Wow, epic hit, man. That is epic. I am so glad that I cracked it on this channel for you guys today. Thank you so much. I knew there was something about this box for a second. I was I actually, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was giving up hope. I was giving up hope. Yo, look at that. 
Well, take it out of the glare for Jesus. Here, hold on, don't scratch it. God, I don't even know how to what to do. There you go, put it right there. Yes. All right, so going through the comments, Jesus. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm shaking. Mind crank, you got a mind crank. Great, Bog Brew Witch. Uh, pristine, oh, talismans are in here. Nice, pristine talisman. Hey, oh, Graven Carnes, okay. All right, okay, okay. Graven Carnes, you can tap it, you add colorless, or you can do Rakdos, tap it. Add uh, two black or Rakdos or uh, two red to your mana pool. Holy hell, gosh, I, I don't know, just my luck, you know, lately. Oh, don't, don't tap it. All right, so, so yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I got my money back. This is our last pack, guys. Uh, yeah. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, you guys, like I said, subscribe. You know, go ahead and select a notification bell. Nice, another windfall. We're just gonna close this up. Surreal Memoir. Indulgent Tormentor. And for our last rare, oh, nice. That's a good, uh, a pretty decent mill card right there for Demir. Uh, it's a sorcery. Target player puts the top 10 cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. That is super dope. Okay, and we got a mnemonic wall for our last foil. So just going over our foils. Um, nothing really too great here on the regular foils. Uh, dude, that, that, okay, we got a Swords of Plowshare there. Um, what did we get here in our rares? Glimpse is Dece, Horizon Canopy, Ancestral Vision, Coco Show, O Stone, Thoughtseize, Supreme Verdict, um, I, I don't know, if Austere Command, uh, Megas of the Moon, uh, maybe Serum Powder. I mean, if I'm going to throw Tefiri in there, then maybe Serum Powder. So there's the rares. And then uh, for our mythics, we got a Archangel of Thune, a Necropotence, and a Foil Mana Drain. Yo. I mean, for. Okay, to be honest with you, if we didn't hit this, a two mythic box, oh, I would have been crushed. Uh, I'd, yeah. Even if, like, I got my money back with these other this other stuff, yeah, this, this thing saved the day. Alright, guys, hopefully you're staying safe out there. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh,. Make sure you smash that like button. Peace.